Hey everybody, it is Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for March 13th through the 19th. So for the Energetic Weather Report, we are using Guardian Angel Messages to row cards. And for your personal Archangel of the Week, we are working with Angel Wisdom to row cards. So let's start here. So when you see this card, when you see these four cards, do you feel more drawn to card number one? To card number two? to card number three or card number four. So I'll just let you ponder that, let that percolate and you can tell me at the end. So the week of March 13th through the 19th. Wow, roller coaster ride. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is pretty all over the place. So it's gonna be interesting to see where we go. So for Sunday, we start with the Five of Fire. This is a card that indicates conflicts, annoyances, but also could be sports competition, something like that. So if there's some sort of sports thing on Sunday, we'll go with that, right? Um, but it can be the annoyances of life, the little details that drive us crazy, conflicts with people who make us crazy. Uh, I always like to say with this card, pay attention. Maybe somebody is mirroring something back to you. Maybe there's something inside of yourself that is being mirrored by the other person that needs to be dealt with but Sunday unless you're in an athletic competition or watching something Sunday could be annoying okay Monday we have queen of air now this is a card that I really like it's brilliant experienced and humorous so this is a card where we cut things out of our life that no longer serve us so maybe this refers back to Sunday where we're like I am removing that concept for my life or that person or that thing that creates annoyances to me. Now, she's also brilliant. So maybe based on Sunday's activity, you find someone as brilliant as her and as experienced as her who helps you try to work through the challenges that, came, that were presenting themselves to you on Sunday. On Tuesday, we have nine of fire. So protection, preparedness, resilience. Yes, it can be these things in a positive manner, but keep in mind that it, it usually shows up because we have this need to protect what we have created. We have this need to be prepared. We have this need to be resilient. So, um, so kind of that energy is still there. Now, interesting especially for the rest of the reading we have on wednesday we have 10 of earth so prosperity and so um uh, security and tradition so this is a positive card this is a card that talks about feeling really good about family traditions it very often can be feeling really good about your situation when it comes to your financial situation about prosperity abundance but you know it's like maybe it's family maybe family is making you feel better maybe fido is just making you feel better but it's you know that's a great card but then it's followed right on by thursday with transformation okay so realization life change liberation now these can all be positive words as well but you know transformation is a part where things really get get sh shaken up so it could be a situation where maybe you kind of were worried about something happening and maybe on Thursday some something significant happens that makes you not particularly super crazy happy about it. But transformation is a positive thing. So sometimes this shakes us loose and takes us to a really great place. So on Friday, we have five of earth, okay? Lack, worry, assistance. So this is a card that talks about where we are really focused on lack, focused on what we don't have, focused on what we're worried about. But the card also wants us to know that there is help, there is assistance. You can see the guardian angel just inside the door. And so there is help and hope available. <clears throat> now, interestingly enough, on Saturday, we have 10 of water, which is family, love, and blessings. So um, this, is, this is positive emotion. This is reaching out to other people, people reaching out to you, the joy of family. And, and it's interesting to me because on Wednesday, we had 10 of Earth, also a very family-oriented card, very positive card, and 10 of water. So we have these aspects. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, I think that this week there are things that are aggravating, difficult, challenging, even transforming um, our, where we find peace and connection and happiness is with family that can be birth family or 
family of choice, our friends, our community, but where we reach out to our family is where we feel grounded again. It's where we feel in a place of positive energy. It's where we feel like everything is going to be okay. So keep that in mind. For the Archangels, the four Archangels of the Week, if you were drawn towards card number one, it is the wheel with Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of communication, creativity, and motivation. Those are some very fine kinds of energies to have in your back pocket with the kind of week that we are looking at. Archangel Uriel on the sun. So he is the Archangel of, of Epiphany, Emotional Healing, and Transformation. Remember this little guy over here? So also really great energies to be working with this week. Also, we have Archangel Zadkiel in the balance card. Uh, Archangel Zadkiel is about, about forgiveness and about balance and about the whole energy around um, um, memory and stuff and being able to remember things and, and that kind of stuff. So that's good. And then finally, we have Archangel Jophiel on the star card. She is the Archangel of positive thought, helping us to manifest the kind of things that we really want rather than getting focused on the negative and manifesting what we don't want. So again, a strong chorus of Archangels this week to help us through what might be a little bit of a challenging week. I do want to just note, guys, it's like, Weeks like this happen, and I just tell you about them when they do. So don't think that, you know, I'm just always giving you only happy stories. Sometimes the story is not that great. So this week, we just all need to be strong. Uh, remember to ask your guardian angels for assistance. I always like to say, dear guardian angels, please be with me today and always all things in all directions of time. Let there be no limit to the ways in which you can assist me today. So keep that in mind this week. All right, that's it.